Hello, so here's another video for MUS119 and we're going to move on now to incorporate some of the control examples that we've already done but get PD to produce very basic audio. I'm going to create a new file I'm going to call this one Example 5 Audio. I'm actually going to replace what I was doing earlier. I'm going to put a horizontal slider, check its properties, make it look nice, give it a colour, put a number box beneath it to figure out what numbers are coming out. And by now you should have remembered that the numbers coming out are between 0 and 127 from a slider when you initiate it. Now you can test your patches um, in, num in numerous ways. Firstly, obviously you can go into and out of edit mode, but that's quite laborious at times. What happens if you put, push the control key, you'll notice that every time I tap the control key, my mouse changes and I go into and out of edit mode, which is really handy. So I can just quickly go, yep, yeah, zero to one, two, seven. I can quickly check that my patch is working. Let's say I want to put a value which was 0 to 127 goes to 50 to 1000. Well, first of all, let's convert this to 0 to 1. 5 by 127. Check it, 0 to 1. So this is part of the assessment. How do I make this go from 0 to 1,000? Well, if I multiply by 1,000, I'd go from 0 to 1,000, which is not quite what we want. If I then multiply by 1,000 and added 50, I'd go from 50 to 1,050, which is also not what we want. So the tip would be to multiply by 950 and add 50. Let's check that. 1050. Exactly what we want. So this will be our frequency. If I can spell it. I'm going to put that frequency now into an oscillator, which is an object box with the words OSC and then this very, very important sign called the tilde, which is found uh, on the hashtag or sharp sign key on the keyboard next to return. So I add that to this. Now, here's where PD gets really interesting. This number changes only whenever you move this slider. And it only comes out of this number box when you move this slider. Once you set the digital signal processing going here, which is that button there, this oscillator is doing 44,100 calculations a second. It's producing audio. And it produces it all the time until you turn the DSP off. So this is a control signal and this is an audio signal. Audio samples are happening all the time when DSP is on. If I want to listen to this, I need a digital to analog converter or DAC. It has the tilde item next to it. And I could simply plug that into there like that. But don't do that because what you have no control over is the amplitude. This will be coming out at full amplitude and that'll blow your socks off. So let's put some amplitude control in. With the oscillator, its amplitude is between minus one and plus one. And this is a sine wave and we'll be looking at sine waves throughout the class because they're the most important aspects of sound. 
So I want to control how much amplitude we actually send to the DAC. So if these numbers are between minus one and plus one, all I need to do, if I multiply by one, I get minus one and plus one. If I multiply by naught, I get nothing and nothing. So anywhere between naught and one, and I've got myself a volume control. So it's maths. Object box, multiply. But I'm multiplying every sample at audio rate. So multiply, tilde. So it looks very similar to that, but this is happening at a sample level. Join that up like that. Join that up like that. Obviously, I need to give this a number. So here's where I will actually take my horizontal slider again. I think it's Control Shift H. And I'll set this one to red and I'll set it zero to one. I'll just check that it's zero to one as well. Yep, there we go. And what might be really useful is to have a message box with a zero in, an object box with a load bang, which will help me preset my slider to zero every time I load this patch, making sure I'm gonna, not going to load the patch, turn the DSP on, and be incredibly blown away by full volume sound. Let's just make sure then that this patch is at zero, and we've got this oscillator has got 50 hertz coming into it, multiplied by zero, so no sound. I'll turn the DSP on, we're okay. I'll just turn the oscillator up to something, a pitch we know. 311 hertz, it's around middle C. Turn the amplitude up. And I've got a sine wave going from, in theory, 50 hertz to 1000 hertz. Notice that even with a very tiny amount of multiplication, it's quite a loud sound. So you need to be very careful with your volumes and your control of amplitude. And there are various issues with this patch now. You can hear the glitches as I move the volume control. And well, this is getting pretty boring already and it's just like a wobble board. So we need to think about how we can be more inventive with uh, the oscillator. And maybe we need to control this so that it's not constantly delivering audio. We want to be able to deliver a note. <laughs>